All right, let's get a look at that forecast. Let's hit up Maddie Kirker. Hey there, good morning everybody. Yeah, if we're looking to the fireworks, to the sky as we head towards the weekend, unfortunately we have some storms to talk about. So before we get there, I do want to take you out live this morning because if you remember yesterday at this time, Buckeye Lake, it was hazy, it was smoky. The air quality is better. It's noticeable when you step outside and it's not only you can feel it, you can also see it. So a very nice look here at Buckeye Lake and we're beginning to see some clearing skies as well as clouds are kind of pushing on out of the view area. Current temperatures across the board, kind of a muggy start to our Friday. 71 in the city of Columbus, 69 in Delaware, 70 in Circleville, Piketon, good morning, 69, 70 in McConnellsville, and 67 in Caldwell. So it's kind of a muggy start. We got dew points in the mid 60s. You'll feel that when you step outside this morning, just how toasty the day is about to become. So here's today's forecast, mid 80s by about noon today, and we're going to soar to near 90 this afternoon. That's the actual air temperature, but when you factor in the humidity levels, we got a heat index today and our heat index this afternoon will be in the low 90s. Now take that into consideration as you're out and about. It will be hot and humid. Go ahead and definitely hydrate if you can. All right, speaking of hydration, what about Mother Nature? Well, uh oh, this doesn't look so great. We've got the holiday weekend ahead of us and we are looking at some ex extended rain chances. We go from Saturday also heading into Sunday. Both days will feature the chance of showering and storms and some of those storms over the weekend could be strong to severe. We'll call this living on the edge and uh, this is kind of the science of what we're seeing happening and also what we'll see heading into the upcoming weekend. What happens is we get these storm systems that develop up to our north and west, particularly up into Iowa and out towards Nebraska. Now these storms form near the top of this ridge and they dive southward as they move southward. They gain some energy right and they move on into central Ohio and they likely become more strong to severe. So with this pattern that we have setting up, this will lead to the threat of seeing strong to severe storms both Saturday and heading into Sunday. With that said, this is the latest outlook coming in from the Storm Prediction Center. This is for tomorrow, not today. This is for tomorrow. And you can see basically our entire viewing area under the yellow, which means severe weather is likely. So if you do have a thunderstorm roll in over your house tomorrow, the likelihood is it could be strong to severe. All right, let's see what we got out there. This this morning we've got one storm system that rolled on through that is off to our south currently as we zoom a little bit closer you can kind of see where storms are hanging around down towards Lexington, London, Kentucky and then we've got a couple of leftover showers here in our viewing area but it's out towards the west where we're tracking our next little cluster of thunderstorms and again it's going to follow that ridge right it'll move on southward as we go through the next 24 hours and then eventually as it moves in for tomorrow that's when we'll have that threat of severe storms. But all the showers that we have out there right now, they're friendly. They're just like little right rain showers uh, for this morning, and those will continue to push on out of here for now. What's today's forecast? Again, we're looking dry for the most part, which is an improvement to what we were thinking yesterday. You can see by noon today, maybe a pop up shower or storm. That's what we're going with a 20% chance. But relatively speaking, we should have gradual clearing and even some sunshine as we go through late in the day today. Heading into this evening and overnight tonight, we begin to watch as that cluster of storms gets closer. So by tomorrow morning, we could have some showers around as we go through tomorrow afternoon, though. This is a brand new update with our model here. This is 11 AM. We got to be weather aware, OK, because any of these storms that roll through could bring us the threat for damaging winds and large hail. It's 11 AM tomorrow. And then as we go through tomorrow afternoon, there's three. So it's going to be kind of off and on, right? We talk about this a lot, how the pattern kind of off and on. Uh, it can be around here in central Ohio, and that'll also lead us into Sunday. So Saturday we've, we're in the yellow for severe weather, but we're also looking at that for Sunday as well. Basically our entire viewing area. So again, any storm that develops over the weekend could have some strong winds and large hail. Just keep that in mind as you're barbecuing or out at the pool this weekend. Head indoors if you do see a thunderstorm rolling in. All right, so here's our 10 day forecast. Again, we've backed off today's rain chance, which is nice. I think that cluster of storms out towards Iowa and Nebraska, it'll take some time to get here. So we should be mainly dry for the day today with some sunshine peeking through the clouds, but heading into the week 
weekend, both Saturday and Sunday, we'll have those rounds of thunderstorms, those clusters of storms rolling through both for the Saturday and Sunday over the weekend. Thankfully, if you do have plans, perhaps for Monday and Tuesday, both of these days are looking drier. 20% chance of rain for Monday and on the 4th of July.